Hi, welcome back. This is video four. Um, so the first two videos that I did were uh, ink videos where I've inked in pieces and then, um, you know, just basically explained my process and then, you know, that was it. And then with the third video, I showed a little bit of the sketch work um, to Mushroom Girl and... Um, then I colored her in with some Copic markers and so you got to kind of see the process um, of how that looks um, like in a time lapse video. With this one, this video turned out a little bit longer than the first three videos. Um, I went from partial sketch to inking to the erase work and then coloring it in with Copic markers and just trying to get everything kind of finished. Um, so this video and the next video are going to be split in half. So this video is the first half and then the other video that I post later in the week will be the second half. Um, with this video there was uh, a lot of different issues that I was having, um, just trying to get everything fully drawn in. And, you know, sometimes when you're drawing something and then you go to put in the inks and ink it in, sometimes your lines can get a little confusing as to what you've drawn. And, um, if you've covered up the lines that you've actually wanted to keep with ink, and sometimes you have to wait until, everything's fully inked before you start erasing so you could kind of see you know what is left and what you need to kind of go over again so in this piece it is part of my fantasy art um, collection I have um, an entire sketchbook to um, fantasy elemental beings and um, so this woman that I am um, uh, sketching and inking in. She is part of the air elemental creature section. And, um, so she's half human, half bird. She's got large bird wings and, uh, in front of her, she's holding two of her pet birds and she is just kind of nestled like in the tree branches just hanging out doing her own thing so um I the sketchbook was it was 40 pages so I have 10 uh, no it was 20 pages and there was about five pages per section um for each element uh so there will be like four more <laughs> four more air creatures and five water creatures and so on so um once I finish that entire sketchbook I plan on going through the entire sketchbook in another video just to kind of wrap up this project um so that you could kind of see like each element and the different types of creatures that I've created to go into the collection and then um, at some point I will be uh, selling off the pieces. Um, I'm not sure if I want to get rid of the originals. Um, I may just sell the entire sketchbook filled with all of, all of the sections. Um, and then while I was working on everything, I've had pages literally just fall out of the sketch pad. And so, um, if I do decide to sell the sketchbook full of the completed art pieces, um, there will be a little, I guess, disclaimer in there, just kind of, uh, a reminder that, um, sometimes when you draw in sketchbooks and you want to fill them all the way up, sometimes it's hard because... Uh, a lot of, you know, 
the sketchbooks that I've had, just opening and closing them over and over again, the pages have just literally fallen out. And um, it would be kind of neat to be able to have a sketchbook where I show every single page completely filled in and, you know, colored and inked and just kind of perfect. Um, but I've never actually been able to achieve that before. So, um, even with this sketchbook, I was trying to be very careful and, uh, just the glue in the binding, um, wasn't strong enough to handle how rough I am with my sketchbooks. So some of the pages fell out, but, um, I'll make sure that if I do sell the sketchbook full of completed pieces that I try to um, get everything back in the right order, you know, that the collection is set in. So anyway, about this art piece, um, I'm using uh, just a regular pencil, regular number two pencil, nothing fancy. And of course, my Stadler fine tip liner pen and um for the really really thick lines in this piece I ended up using those um Japanese fine liner pens that my friend got me off of the wish app and um that's basically what I use when I'm lining everything um sometimes I'll use like the uniball fine tip liners those are really good, but uh, sometimes they give out way too much ink and then you have a lot of bleed out. So uh, the Stadler fine tip liners are actually perfect for lining and um, they don't bleed. So if you are planning on using um, any kind of alcohol based markers after the fact to color in your art piece, um, these liners <clears throat> they don't bleed all over your paper. You're not going to get like, you know, weird muddy splotches of where your ink, you know, started to move around on you. So um, that's actually pretty good because I am pretty harsh with my markers. Um, I try to be careful, but uh, sometimes I just get really into an art piece and um, I'm really heavy handed. So... That being said, you know, if if I'm lining something in and uh, these inks don't move around with how heavy I'm using these markers on top of the inks, um, it says a lot about the quality of the, uh, the pens that I'm using and then, of course, the uh, markers that I'm using. And uh, predominantly, I'm using the um, Copic markers. Um... They are kind of pricey, but they are a really good investment um, because, you know, you can replace the nibs and uh, you can refill the inks. And um, as long as you keep the barrels of the markers really in good, in good condition, it's, you know, fairly easy to take care of. And um, all you have to do is just refill these markers and take care of the nibs and you are good to go. You have markers for life. So, um, those are the markers I use most of the time. So, um, the second piece, uh, the second video is going to be me basically coloring in this piece in Copics and then, um, the finished product of what it looks like. So, um, we're getting to the end of this video here. Um, so like I said, this is just the ink work here. Um, I'll go in and erase all of the, uh, extra lines, uh, just to clean up the piece before I start adding in the, the color and then, um, and then we'll go from there. So... If you like this video, uh, like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can always reach out. Let me know what you think. Um, if there's anything specific that you want to see that um, I haven't put out yet, you can always get a hold of me and um, 
I'll see what I can do. Um, I do have a lot of projects lined up for this year and so I'm trying to get everything in and really push myself to get more art out there. So just let me know um, what you're thinking and um, keep watching. Thank you. Bye.